Turning now to the vaccine and so many people who logged on today trying to get an appointment discovered a new virtual waiting room and some really crazy wait times. The worst we saw was 42,000 minutes. That was the expected wait. And this is not what people were expecting after a promise from the governor yesterday that things would get better. WBZ's Mike LaCrosse is live for us in Danvers tonight. And Mike, another day of problems. David, a lot of disappointed people today. Those 50,000 appointments that were posted this morning went very quickly. And for a lot of people, that new online waiting room was very confusing. My wife's been trying now for a couple of weeks uh, and had, you know, has had no luck. David Bookbinder, like many people this morning, found himself in an ever-changing and confusing online waiting room. He was trying to book his wife one of the 50,000 vaccination appointments that were posted by the state at 8 a.m. It counted down, it counted down. I was, you know, 316, then 216, then, you know, 116, 16, whatever, all the way down to zero. But it kept bouncing. It kept going from... 340 minutes to 120 minutes, then it would go back up again. The online waiting room is a new feature added to the vaccination website for people trying to make appointments. Uh, residents shouldn't panic when they see that number. It's merely a calculation in that moment in time based on volume. Cyber expert Peter Tran says the state has some work to do improving the new waiting room. He does point out, though, that the system did not crash like it did last Thursday. It appears to have uh, the appropriate scale that it needs as far as the backups. First of all, there were no widespread outages on the site today. There was a lot of information that showed up on the site that made people deeply unhappy and that part I get. Governor Charlie Baker says the state is making progress on the website but stresses that they need more vaccine from the feds before they can make more appointments available. At this point in time you have far more people, way more people waiting than you have actually scheduling an appointment at any point in time. And everyone we spoke with today said they're going to keep trying to find those appointments. And they hope the state makes even more changes to the website before next Thursday. Reporting live in Danvers, I'm Mike LaCrosse, Debbie Beasy News. All right, Mike.